Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. So this is the big one, the master bedroom, one of the most important rooms in the house. So when it comes to choosing what color to paint it, one has to be careful and be absolutely smart about it. You want this to be the calming space yet visually beautiful and stylish, obviously. So here to discuss this and give us her helping hand is Plascon's global color manager and one of our judges, Anne Result. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. So first of all, I think maybe this is an obvious question, but why is the master bedroom so important? Well, if you think about it, we spend about a third of our lives sleeping. So you really want to have a good rest. Yeah. And also, depending on how we sleep, it affects our mood, it affects our motivation and our general well-being. So you really want to have a room where you can feel relaxed, comfortable mm. and really wind down at the end of the day and fall asleep easily. Now, my mom is one of those ladies who spends obviously a lot of time also sleeping at night. But before she goes to bed, she has to obviously put a little blot over any kind of light in that room. She likes absolute darkness when it's yeah. in there. So maybe looking for some advice from you. Why is color of the wall so important to, to a bedroom? Because colour has a huge effect on you and also the space you're staying in. So colour can cool or it can warm, mm. it can energise or it can relax you, it can comfort you or it can give you confidence. So colour has an effect. If you understand the different effects that colour have on a space, then you can use it to your advantage. For instance, blue is very calming and relaxing and can help you sleep better. Okay. Whereas if you have a red in your room, it's more energising. So it's understanding the energy of colour and using it to your advantage in your room. So maybe I should advise her to use a little bit more blue so she can yeah. go to bed slightly more calm and less like yeah. every light in the house and everything <laughs> yeah. must be turned off as she and goes. And another thing with light blues, it also helps relieve headaches. Ah. So these are all kind of things, you know, that are really helpful when it comes to choosing colour in your bedroom. Okay, so colour is important. Yeah. And I think a lot of people always go with their gut, they go with what they've seen, they go with what they think will fit as a colour palette yeah. within, their, within their rooms themselves. But I want some advice from you. What do you think are some of the techniques and potential colours that people are definitely doing wrong. What should people steer clear of all the time? Well, one of the biggest mistakes people make is if they're using one color, they use too much of that oh. color. So it's all about having a balance of colors. What I always think is a good idea is for people to use references, to find things that they like in decor magazines oh. or colors that they like. Keep a reference of it so when you do decide to change, you've got something that you can refer to. Mm. And that's what I would really suggest when planning your bedroom. Okay, so when it comes to steering clear of it, don't use too much of the same thing all yes. over the place. If you've yes. got a blue, don't make everything blue. Exactly. Not too matchy-matchy, that's one of the mistakes. And also not too bright. If you are going to okay. use bright colors, be sure to balance it with some neutral colors. And if you are going to use neutral colors, introduce some different textures and maybe something, a brighter color into it so mm. it doesn't become boring. Mm. So one thing that I've always been fascinated by is that when you, I've heard conversations with you quite a lot and been inspired by what you're saying, but how often do people really go out and paint their walls? And so let's, let's imagine we've got a blank canvas, whether it be we're renovating a house, whether yeah. it be we're just looking for something to change or whether we're being our contestants here who are producing three beautiful apartments and have to create this beautiful master yeah. bedroom. What should we try and look for? What are we trying to do? Well, first of all, decide what atmosphere you want in the room. Okay. That would be your first uh, Hopefully a thing. sleep yeah. atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and then have a look what you have in your room. For instance, here we've got this beautiful carpet. Mm. There's a lovely moody blue in there. You could, uh, we've already said blues are very calming and relaxing. Mm. Sort of match a blue to that carpet and paint one wall with it. And you'll be amazed how that ties the whole decor scheme yes. together. Or it could be you've got a painting and you pick out a blue from that painting, paint mm. one feature wall in a dark blue. You've got the wonderful energy of that calming relaxing blue and you've pulled your whole scheme together by introducing a feature wall in in one of the colors that's already mm. in your in your decor scheme sure just pulls the whole thing together okay so you want to keep it kind of like symmetrical so it all works together yeah. in the room when you step in you don't feel like this is jarring effect of a whole bunch of different colors that don't necessarily go well together yeah. so find a theme are themes useful Yes, absolutely. Okay. Definitely useful. Decide on a theme that you want to go for or just, as, as I said, just pick out a colour from one of the items in your room, one of the decor accessories, fabrics or something, and that will also pull your awesome. 
whole scheme together. And always good to have you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Contestants, I hope you are listening because decorating the master bedroom is important. It's where you end off your day. It's where you start a brand new day. So make sure it is a space you can shake off the day and relax, but also the one that you'll wake up to and feel inspired to take on a new day in. So visit plascon.co.za for more color inspiration and see what can work for you. So I'm here filling out the colors that I'm going to be using for my feature wall for my master bedroom. I felt like I, I went very safe in the guest bedroom just using one color. So here I'm exploring the Plascon and showing the potential of the paints and what it can do. I'm going for a very earthy texture which picks up most of the colors that I use in the guest bedroom. So the colors are going to be transitioning from the black as night up to the, the lavish lemon. For my feature wall, I'm, go I'm going for a very distressed uh, feel and look, uh, so I'm not looking for anything perfect. I'm going with a local artist, uh, Nabila, whom I'm very excited to work with, since we've gone through the colors and discussed how we're going to achieve this earthy feel that we're going for. So now, the job is on me now to see which color goes first and which color follows. What do you guys think? So I'm in my exposed closet in my main bedroom, and I chose to go with in the mood from Plascon again. I know Anne didn't like it, but it really suits well with my Caesar stone bench that I'm going to be putting here. So I am a bit worried that she'll think that it's matchy-matchy again. This time I'm bringing in some bold elements, uh, bold color choices, like my black trusses and uh, a few black elements in the room. I really hope Anne sees my vision and that she, li she likes my choices of trying to make the space bigger with the color choices that I make. So I've selected this artwork by another interior designer called Natalie Bulwer and she uses inks to create this um, trending uh, technique called ombre and which is a mixture of different colors. So that is really the center point of this room. To match the artwork I've selected four Plascon colors. We have added skin over here, we have Distant Storm which is the 2016 color forecast and we have bovine over here and red wine. But I think I prefer my red wine in a glass. So um, I think I'd lean more towards the greens and the greys but we'll have to see because I don't want the space to be too dark since I'm putting a block out um, behind the, the grey curtains that I'm going to put here. So I think it's going to be cool. Votes for your favorite bathroom are now closed, but from today you can head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom. Here's how you can win. It's not called Winner Home for Nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of the three completed apartments at the Valdivia Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom on privateproperty.co.za. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.